Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I can finally reveal the garment I made in collaboration with Carol from Sew Carol and Katinka from The Seamstress at the Cottage. So the three of us have been working behind the scenes to make a garment under the theme Feeling the Chill. <laughs> So basically, we wanted to make a garment that was needed or a gap in our winter season wardrobe. And although we are in the middle of February, and I'm hearing that the weather is not nearly as cold anymore in the UK, where Carol is, Katinka and I are in North America, and it is very chilly still here. So I am still definitely wearing all of my winter garments. In fact, it was minus 12 Celsius today. It's been chilly and we did get a bit of snow yesterday. One thing that has been on my list to make for the winter ever since the Everyday Style Capsule Guide came out way back in December was a plaid flannel shirt. Now, would you believe I'm Canadian and I've never owned a plaid flannel shirt. <laughs> it was time. I mainly wanted it as a layering piece. I, I just thought it'd be really nice over a turtleneck, over a t-shirt even for when the weather starts warming up a tad, and even on its own. So back in December again, when the capsule guide came out, I went on the Minerva website and ordered this gorgeous flannel. I'm going to link to it below, but I think it's a Robert Kaufman. I think. I'm not 100% sure. And then just never got to work. <laughs> it got really busy in December because I was doing Vlogmas. And then January, I had a bunch of plans and the shirt just kept getting to the bottom of the list. And so when Katinka reached out and said she was thinking of doing a collaboration with Carol and what I want in on it because we're making a winter garment, I said, yes, I know exactly what I'm going to make. I'm finally going to get my flannel shirt. Before I go into detail on my make, just wanted to tell you a little bit about Carol and Katinka just in case you don't know who they are. So Carol has a channel here on YouTube. Her channel is So Carol. I think she's been on YouTube for a couple of years, maybe over, maybe a little bit over two years. And she is a regular on the hashtag Friday Sews circuit. She puts a video out every single Friday. I had the pleasure of meeting Carol in person twice. So once in Florida, when the two of us went to um, Lakeland, Florida for the sewing expo down there, a whole bunch of Friday Sews people got together in Florida in March 2023. And that's the first time I got to meet Carol. And then back in September of 2023, as you probably know if you've been around the channel for a while, my daughter and I took a trip to the UK for two weeks and I got to see Carol again, along with Adam from Adam Sews. We got together for an afternoon, had a nice meal, went shopping at a fabric or a sewing machine store. It was fabulous. So if you don't already follow Carol, I'm going to link her channel below. Go have a look. She is a great seamstress, and she also has a bunch of different crafty interests like she does she makes buttons like door set buttons that are really really cool and she's getting into all kinds of crafty adventures she's a lot of fun to follow so definitely go have a look as far as Katinka she I first came across her channel oof, probably about a year ago now she lived in South Africa at the time. She has since moved to the UK first, spent a few months in the UK with her sister, and is now living in the US. She is such an amazing 
seamstress. The things that she makes from sometimes what appears to be nothing. <laughs> she creates these garments. She loves to sew for others. She also knits. And she is such an interesting person. She is one that I wish I could have met in person when I was in the UK because she was in the UK at the time. Unfortunately, it just never happened. But yeah, see, you definitely go, you need to go and have a look at her channel and follow along. She She's also a regular on the Friday Sews circuit every Friday. So have a look at her channel as well. I have no idea what Carol and Katinka have made as part of this collaboration. As of filming this, anyways, I have no idea. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get a picture so that I can put it on my thumbnail <laughs> and spoil the surprise for myself a little bit. But as for my garment, so like I said, I wanted a shirt and let me get comfortable. My TNT for a button-up shirt is the Vernon shirt by Cashmeret. I made one back in the fall and I managed to get it to fit me so perfectly, I knew that's what I wanted to make with my flannel. I made the same size I usually make because I didn't want it oversized. Like I wanted a shirt that fit me and you know, when worn open would give a sense that it was it's loosey-goosey but I didn't want it huge on me. I made no changes from my previous version for the sizing, the length, nothing. So this is a size 18 with the GH bus cups graded to a 20 at the waist and hips. I did shorten my pattern the first time I made it by an inch right under the waist and that works perfectly for me. Uh, there are two views to the, Va the Vernon shirt, so you can do one with the hidden button plackets. I think the collar is a bit bigger and it's got these gorgeous lantern sleeves. And the second version, the version I made, has a regular collar with the collar stand, a regular button placket and a um, bias bound placket at the sleeve with a button closure. Super, super comfortable. Once again, the fit is really, really good on me. I wore this all day today for work. Like I said, it was minus 12 here today and I felt very, very nice and cozy. I'm wearing it with my Merino Wool Hepburn Tee by Itch to Stitch and it's perfect. I mean, even my hubby commented today, says, is that a new shirt? Did you make that? He was very impressed. My youngest son, who's going to be 20 in May, saw this hanging on a hanger here in my sewing room and said, did you make that? I said, yes, I did. He says, well, if you ever want to make one for me, yes, please. <laughs> so coming from those two guys, yeah, those are big, big, big compliments. Like I said, the fabric is a flannel, a cotton flannel from Minerva.com and I think it's a Robert Kaufman. And if you've watched my video on the Chantel dress and all of the fun I had plaid matching for that dress, um, I wanted to, to keep things a little bit simpler for my shirt. So what I've done is I print, I cut the front pieces and the back on the straight of grain. I did the best I could for pattern matching. I think I did a really good job in the front. Everything lines up really, really well. On the side, we're just not going to talk about the side because for some strange reason, I completely forgot to even look at that, but whatever. The button placket and the cuffs I cut on the bias as well as the back yoke, just so I didn't have to worry about matching any of that. And the collar and collar stand I also cut on the straight of grain, but because the yoke is cut on the bias, I didn't have to worry about matching that either. So I'm very, very pleased with the job I did down the front. 
I think it looks really, really nice. I love the colors in this fabric. The buttons are blue buttons I had in my stash. I think the blue is a pretty good match. And yeah, not much else to say about this shirt. It's just a Vernon. It fits me. I love it. And this has been super cozy to wear today. All right, after you finish watching my video, please, please go over to Carol's and Katinka's YouTube channel and watch their video. Um, I'm sure you're going to be very happy with what they have to share. And let me know what you think of my flannel shirt. Like it? Don't like it? <laughs> Do you have a flannel shirt? Is that part of your winter wardrobe where you are? I would love to know. Put that in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming over and watching the video today. Please give it a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again and I will see you soon.